Hi everybody, we are at Super Sad Art Day and we are going to be making some watercolor coffee filter butterflies. Uh, it's a real easy project you can do at home. If you've got your Sat Art Day kit, Super Sat Art Day kit, uh, you've got a coffee filter in there and a um, pipe cleaner. Uh, the other thing that you need are some washable markers. This is a great project for even using up dry markers because we're going to use water. So if your marker is a little dry, you're gonna, you can dip it in your water. Um, I've got some water here. I've got a brush and my coffee filter. You can do the small ones too. I've got something to protect the table because the, we are using water, so the um, washable markers are washable, but uh, you still want to make it nice. So I'm going to start off real easy by coloring in some color blocks for my butterfly. You're going to end up with a really cool tie-dye look, so you can pick whatever colors you want you don't have to color in every little bit because this is kind of a steam project too. You're gonna to see how this cool coffee filter paper pulls water through the colors and combines it and spreads it all the way through. You'll also see how color transfers from the coffee filter to your fingers. But because these are washable markers, uh, the color will come off when you wash your hands. I love blues and greens together and purples so all you're doing is coloring and covering up your coffee filter it does not have to be perfect because the water is going to do the finishing for this so you don't have to color every little bit hope you guys are enjoying all of our videos for super Saturday day and all of our different activities we've got going We've got music going and a drum circle. Lots of, now this one was a little dry. Oh, you're good. We've got some visitors here at our table. And you can tell us how much you're enjoying making your uh, butterflies. Yes. Now, if you wanted to also do a pattern on your butterflies, you could use some Sharpie but Sharpie will stay permanent, so you can't use it for the watercolor effect, but if you wanted to add any um, permanent initials or like butterflies sometimes have uh, black markings, you could always add a uh, permanent marker too. And let's add some red. It's beautiful in the shade today. Okie doke. So, it doesn't take long and you've got your whole coffee filter cover. And these are actually the bigger coffee filters. So once you've got your color, you're gonna take some water and your brush and you are going to just paint. Basically, paint that water right on there. And you can see it spreads and it turns the color into a nice solid. And I love the blue and the green next to each other. And the yellow actually turns out nice and bright too. And if you don't have a paintbrush at home, you can um, run it under the water. Um, Miss Severia showed us that trick uh, at our virtual summer camp. Um, or you can use Q-tips, you can use um, paper towel, whatever you need just to add some water. And um, if you want it all to be that watercolor look, cover the whole thing. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this up. And this is how it looks at the next step all wet so you're gonna let it uh, dry for a minute or two I'm gonna put it over on our little clothesline to dry it dries really nice outside in the breeze for sure and I'm back with one that we already finished I'm gonna move my little palette aside and dry this up a little bit Okay, so this is a dry one. As you see, the color stays really nice and vibrant. 
Um, so there's two ways you can do this. You can just grab it in the middle. Oh, this one I already pulled it once. You could just grab it in the middle like that. Or you can do, yeah, grab it in the middle. Or you can accordion fold it. Perfect. You can do center while you're waiting for that. So you've got to either fold it up or just bunched up. And then you've got a, um, a pipe cleaner in there too. And this is going to become your antenna. So the cool thing with the um, pipe cleaners is you can squeeze them. So this is your um, butterfly body. I usually twist it a little bit. And then I make my antenna. And then you can spread out. And there we go. We have a watercolor butterfly made with coffee filter. And they're so pretty. You can hang these up in the house or outside. Thanks for uh, stopping in. I hope you guys enjoy making these butterflies.